among the last of its kind anywhere in the world. This Zoroastrian fire temple in Yazd is a place of worship and increasingly a popular tourist destination. It's home to the Atash Beram, the fire of victory, which has burned for over 1,500 years, a centerpiece of the world's oldest monotheistic religion. The temple's museum houses the sacred Zoroastrian book, the Gata. It teaches the religion's followers to respect three key commandments. Good thoughts, good words, and good deeds. There you go, that's it. The customs came one by one. It was the priests that introduced them, and not the departing prophet Zarathustra. Ramina and her friends are among the last 30,000 practicing Zoroastrians living in Iran. Since the country's Islamic revolution in 1979, their numbers have fallen drastically. Zoroastrians are now recognized by the state as a religious minority. An MP represents their interests in parliament, but many other doors have been closed. They're barred from holding senior government and military positions. Living in an Islamic state also affects their daily lives. During Ramadan, although we don't fast, out of respect for those who do, we don't eat or drink water in public. We also don't organize weddings during mourning periods for the same reason. These Zoroastrian cooling towers have stood in Yazd for around 800 years. Every afternoon, the group of friends come to guide visitors around the buildings. They say authorities should be doing more to help maintain such old places of worship. The authorities in charge of the country's cultural heritage should pay more attention to our cultural heritage, but also the protection of such historic sites in general. Among the places Zoroastrians once protected, they're Dakhmiz, known as Towers of Silence. Until the Islamic Revolution, they would leave their dead here for vultures to consume. Now the area is a quiet tourist destination at the foot of the Alborz Mountains.